Yo, what's up, peoples? Welcome to Funky Friday, episode 16. Sorry it's been a while since I've done one of these. It's just, you know, I picked Friday because, you know, it's, you know, beginning of the weekend, and, you know, I thought originally I'd maybe try to do one every Friday. Then it was like every second Friday, but Friday just turns out to be such a bad day for me. I really gotta, I really gotta mix these into my fucking busy schedule, but, um, but yeah, so anyways... Episode 16, I want to talk about a cat that uh, a lot of people didn't know about generally when this album came out. Uh, this album came out in 1997. Uh, he's making big moves now. He doesn't really do a whole lot of like personal music. He produces for other people. Um, he is presently the vice president of Def Jam Records. Um, in the past, he's produced you know classic songs and from classic albums. You know, he's produced on Common's albums like Kanye West. Uh, Fuck, man, the list goes on. Jay-Z, fucking all them cats, right? He's produced R&B stuff like Tony Braxton, fucking Janet Jackson. Uh, and the list just goes on, like a lot of them cats. Um, but for the time this came out in 1997, it was, he was not very well known. He'd done uh, a little bit of production for Common in the past, before that, and a couple of R&B tracks, I believe. Um, I'm talking about No ID, uh, a lot of people probably recognize the name now, you know, especially from the later common stuff. Um, this album's called Accept Your Own and Be Yourself, the Black Album. This is all produced by No ID. No ID. Uh, every song on the album is featuring Doug Infinite. Um, I don't really know much about Doug Infinite, to be honest, but I do know he's pretty good on the record. Um, as for the album, uh, the album's, you know, it's 15 tracks. There's only about 11 songs on here. They got four interludes, so the album doesn't run very long. Uh, but it's very, very solid, you know, it's very, um, you know, 1997 was really the pinnacle year when hip-hop started to change. Uh, I've mentioned this lots of times before, uh, 97 was basically when, you know, Puff Daddy, in my opinion, changed the entire industry with bringing mainstream music into what mainstream music is now. Shitty. Um, so there was a lot of changes in 1997, everyone was kind of trying new things. Um, now this album isn't overly, you know, explosively different, per se, um, but what what makes this album stick out is that it just feels so real. You know, this is one of those albums that it, the production through it is very solid, it's, it's very mellow, it's nothing really upbeat, there's nothing commercial sounding on it. It's very, you know, kind of that mid-90s, almost boom bappy, but not really, really cool funky samples on the record. Uh, the song playing in the background, we rock like so. It's a good example of, um, or I mean, Fitness Fate of Destiny. Um, you know, this is just really a good example of what the album is like. You know, it's Doug Infinite, no ID going back and forth, really, just it's just spitting real rhymes. It's, it's very mellow. Like I said, a lot of good samples on this record. Some samples that you probably would recognize now, maybe not so much in 97, but they have been used quite a bit throughout the 2000s, I've noticed. Um, there's a song in here called Sky's the Limit, Infinite. Doug Infinite actually co-produced the remix on here, and so they call it his mix on here. But the original song, Sky's the Limit, you'll recognize the sample, like, right away on it. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about the record. You know, it's, like I said, 1997 came out on relatively, relatively records. Um, you know, and like I said, it's no ID and Doug Infinite throughout the whole record. It's just, Doug Infinite's name's not plastered on it, but it does, it says on the back, feature Doug Infinite. Every song does have Doug Infinite on it. Um, but yeah, you know, this is definitely one of those underrated records in 1997. 1997 had a lot of really dope records. This one always flew under the radar for me and a lot of people. I actually didn't even check this album out until, I would say, probably 1998. I didn't even really even know about it in 1997, to be honest. Um... I can't remember how I came across it, but I know it was a little bit past after it came out. Um, but yeah, no ID. Definitely check this record out. It's fucking awesome. It is out of print, and it's hard to find. Um, I actually never picked up this album until, like, recently. Like, within, like, the last year or two or whatever. Um, it was just one of those albums that I had heard just never got around to picking up and then it was probably out of print right away because it wasn't it wasn't very popular I don't think so um but yeah like I said it's out of print so you know you can check your I remember checking eBay years ago for this and it was selling for like 30 35 bucks I'm sure that maybe the price has gone down I don't know I know the Amazon prices were ridiculous um I remember finding a copy on Discogs 
I think they were starting from like 20 bucks to like 55 or something like that, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you might be able to find this. I found this at a used store, I believe, in... I think I found it in Seattle for 10 bucks. So, and it was literally brand new. There wasn't even a scratch anywhere on this thing. So, happy hunts for this one if you're interested. Definitely check out No ID though. Um, like I said, you know, he does a lot of producing for other people as of now. Um, you know, some of the... Oh yeah, I guess, I guess he produced... I think he produced... Uh, three or four tracks on the new NOS record too, um, which were all right. I know he produced the song Daughters, which got nominated for a Grammy, but you know, that's all besides, you know, he does do a lot of, I mean, being the vice president of Def Jam Records, what do you expect, who he's going to be producer for, but, um, but I do highly advise this record, accept your own and be yourself Black Elm, no ID, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, Mood 616 signing off, and thanks for subscribing. And always leave comments down below. Peace out, homies.